set the very first flight to Congo. We're going to Goma. So Nairobi to Goma will be taking two hours. Guys, we just landed Hello. in Goma. We have a new a Congo. Aujourd'hui, je suis à Aéroport de Goma. Oh, we're here. They're about to start dancing. A little. Just in four. Oh, they're dancing and they're dressed traditionally. Okay. I don't know where we're supposed to go next, but we are outside. To go balcony for me you slide up in the balcony and it overlooks the pool and lake kivu so here we go good morning <laughs> i'm in a swivel chair <sighs> did that make you dizzy i'm sorry so Today we're going to start exploring Goma, but I wanted to share some information with you guys. The flight that I missed yesterday. So the flight is $397 for a return trip and it's a direct flight. That's from Nairobi to Goma, right? So if you're Kenyan, then you can get a visa on arrival for about $50. So you need the PCR COVID test, a negative one, obviously. And then you also need a yellow fever certificate. So... Yeah, that's the basic information you need to know. Jumbo Jet will be flying out twice a week. I've noticed like there are so many NGOs. A lot of people come here for business. So there are probably going to be a lot of people, business travelers, you know, coming down to Goma. We are here for tourism. So today we're going to explore Goma and I'm going to tell you some things you can do here. So what happened last night? We went into the nightclub. We went to the nightclub at Serena Goma, which is where we are staying. So Serena Goma, like I said, it's the only five-star hotel in Goma. We danced. I was there until 10. A girl is old. <laughs> A girl's knees are weak. <laughs> you can only get down for so long, you know? So I would have probably been in bed by 10. But clubbing has never really been my thing anyway. But if you're in Goma and you want to party, then, hey, the nightclub at Serena Goma, it is worth it. Yes, to the country they say do not go to. A Lonely Planet book used to write something in the magazine. Don't go to Congo is not safe. Mm. But here is one of the part of Congo. But Congo is a continent in another continent. That we cannot show you for one day. Mm. Impossible. And this morning, we are going uh, in Goma city and around the Goma. That is why you have the checklist. Swahili was born in Tanzania, <laughs> growing in Kenya, <laughs> got sick in Uganda, <laughs> died in Rwanda, and buried in the Congo. <laughs> so, you have no Swahili. So, please. Wow. So many NGOs, have you noticed? Sons and daughters and wives. <laughs> Oh, so this is a wooden scooter. It's called a chukudu or chukudu. So here we go. This is a replica of the chukudu that we just saw. The wooden scooter. So this is known as the chukudu roundabout. And it's smack at the center of the city. So just some observations. They drive on the right side. We drive on the left in Kenya. Something I'm noticing there's so many bikes. 
but we're also being told to be very careful with our phones and cameras so I think maybe there's like a I don't know you can be sitting in your car this is the car we're in you can be sitting by the window and then someone will come and grab it we're like I mean we come from Nairobi so chances are you're kind of used to that okay let me get into the car we're going to the next stop right now Ooh. Here we are. Back in the car. Yeah, so right now we're on a tour of Goma City. Listen, there are so many border borders. I think they're called moto. Here. There's so many. What? Everywhere border border. Border border on border border on border border. So this is Virunga Market. It kind of feels like there are too many bikes for the population even. It's like Kampala. Is it? Yeah, it is it. It's excess. Virunga Market. Okay, so it's probably busier because it's a market. <laughs> There was a an eruption here, like in May, right? Yeah, in Just May. three months ago. Yeah. Yeah. The lava came from the mountain. So is that that mark? You see? Like near Yeah. Near Gongo volcano. Yeah, yeah. So uh, it separates the the road. Like separate like the lava came from Miragonga close to Rwanda. Mm -hmm. yeah. So was that coming this way? Yeah. This entire way. Uh, yeah. And Rwanda is there, right? Yeah, is there. yeah. So is this lava then? Like yeah, this is lava. Oh so this is all lava that's yes. solidifying yes. Yes. Oh interesting. And I'm sure if they dig deeper it's mm -hmm. still hot. So you were saying that they use this some of some people use this to build houses, to build right? Houses, yes. And then some use it to to build roads as well. Exactly. Oh okay. To a place called Lochelet, Lochelet, the Charlotte, Lochelet. So we're going to have lunch out here, and we actually pre-ordered because we're a big group, you know. I'm having tilapia. I know that for a fact. Man, lunch is finally served. We have tilapia, and it's grilled, and we have fries. I don't know if I'm going to eat those fries because of my diet, guys. I'm so hungry. It's finally here. Okay. It's a market here for Kulana. Okay, nice. Me, I have. Have. There's a fly on my face. <laughs> yeah, Guys, it's so pretty out here. So, I want to take some shots here. Yeah, use your lens. I'm with Don. So, he's a photographer that's based in Goma, right? Yeah. Yeah. Wedding photographer. Guys, wedding photographer in Goma. Actually, we see guys taking. It's so beautiful out here because it's right by the lake. So there are some guys that actually have their seats out here. It's so windy. <laughs> so we're having breakfast by the lake. Breakfast with a view. Here's a whole crew. And this is still at Serena. So the hotel is back there. What? Driving on these streets would give me mad anxiety because 
it's like the speed first of all and then the footing like it's just hooting everywhere. The drivers are hooting, the motor guys are hooting outside. It's a Koroga hooting festival. Koroga hooting festival, like Pau puts it, you know? <laughs> so we're on a road trip right now. We're going to some mountain lodge. <laughs> Like there are a lot of hills, mountains, sprawling. Is it undulating? <laughs> Is that the word? Ah. Undulating. Ah. That's where we are. And it's so beautiful. So we're about to go horse riding right now. Um, let's do this. today with the mountains so it was called Malaika Lodge, Malaika Lodge. Yes. and that area was Masisi, Masisi, Masisi Mountains okay so that's how far from Goma that's uh, 20 something kilometers I've seen a lot of change been through a lot of pain some things are not the same as they were a year ago but all will be okay I move on each and every day The past is where it stays Way back a year ago I've changed for the better this time I thought I would never be fine I strive just to say I'm So our boat is docked, we're heading down to have sundowners I'm alright and for the first time in a long time, I'm alright I've seen a lot of change, been through a lot of pain uh, This is literally a cow <laughs> Two minutes away Here we are That's the cow <laughs> So that's it for this video my bags are all packed i'm gonna rush downstairs because we're going to the airport right now and hope you enjoyed this video let me know would you guys visit goma comment below i'll see you in my next video bye